trombone players. Uh, this is very exciting playing the trombone. I'm so happy that you signed up this year and let's just get things started. So hopefully by now you have your case with you at home and um, some people have zippers on their cases and some people have latches on their cases. My case here has latches on it. Um, while you're doing this, you should probably be seated on the floor with the case in front of you or you could have your trombone case on a table in front of you, but you don't wanna sit in a chair with the case on your lap. Some of the parts may fall out of it, so we don't want that to happen. All right, so I have mine on a uh, flat surface here so I could demonstrate and show you some of the parts. In this video, we are going to talk about the different parts of the trombone, and then after this video, right below, there'll be another video on how to produce your first sounds on your mouthpiece. So here we go. You have your case. Mine has latches. I lift up. Pull that down. I already have that one done down there. And I lift up the lid. And here we have our trombone inside. You'll notice when you open up your trombone case that one side has, uh, there's two sides and there's a part on each side. Okay. Uh, before I take those out, I want to point out this you should have a container of this liquid in your case. This is called slide oil and it is used, you know, when you signed up for the trombone, you probably saw it had the big moving slide and this oil goes on there to help it move smoothly for you. And we'll talk about that in another video, how to apply the slide oil. You have enough slide oil to last you all of fourth grade and probably all of fifth grade. So you don't need to use a lot of it. You'll notice in your case, you have a mouthpiece. Yours is probably brass colored, silver colored. I just happen, let me bring a little closer to you. I just happen to have a purple one. We could talk about that in lessons sometime. But um, whatever mouthpiece you have that came with yours is perfect. So let's talk about the two parts. This large part has a section that looks like, if you just look down here, it's called the bell of the trombone and you'll see one post here, one bar, another bar, and you probably have a third bar with some type of circle or a different emblem or marking of some sort. Buttoned in on the other side of your case, you see your slide, and this is the part that will move on you. Now up at the top of the slide, one side of the slide will have a little piece that twists. That is the locking mechanism. When I unlock it, the slide moves. When I lock it, it doesn't. So if I'm not using the slide, I want to keep it locked. That way it won't move out on me. You're going to notice on the slide portion of the trombone, there are two holes, one, two. One side is slightly longer than the other side. The side that is shorter is the side that the mouthpiece will go into. Okay, we'll talk about that after I assemble the whole instrument. The other side, you're going to see what we call threads around there. That is the part that connects to the rest of the trombone. Now, this can get a little tricky sometimes. I hold the slide in my right hand. So this is my right hand that I'm holding the slide in. I pick up the bell section of the trombone, and you'll notice there is an opening here, and there's this tube. Those two pieces come together. Okay, now, there's different ways you could do this. You might notice that I have this completely straight across. That would be incorrect. We don't, do not want to do that. We actually want to make it look like, let me make it a little better for you. That shape like that. If you use your imagination, you can kind of see here, down to there, it almost looks like maybe possibly the letter A minus the middle part. If we look at it this way, 
Maybe it looks like the letter V, possibly. Okay, that's the shape we want. When I see you in person or in a Google meeting, a Google lesson, I can help you with that better. Now, some of you, no, we have to lock the slide into the body, into the bell section. Mine has a, a little screw that we go from the top down. Some of yours may come from the bottom up. So again, we'll just have to see which kind you have both, and you were locking these together. And now, it doesn't slide apart. All right, when I put the mouthpiece in, this is very, very important. You do not want to take the mouthpiece and push it in really hard, okay? If it, that will help it get stuck. If it gets stuck, do not panic. I have a tool that can take the mouthpiece out in about 30 seconds. Don't let anybody at home take pliers or a wrench to it and try to be really strong and get it out. If it gets stuck, I have the tools that we need to just pop it right out. It takes a very short period of time. When you put the mouthpiece into the trombone, we take it, we drop it in, I grab it, and give it a little twist. And now, it won't fall out. When I want to take the trombone mouthpiece out, I grab it, twist, and pull. If I do not do the twist, watch what happens. I put the mouthpiece in, it just lifts right out, super, super easy. If I give it a little twist, I'm tugging on it and it won't come out. Okay, so I give that little twist. Now when I put the trombone away, twist the mouthpiece, I put that away, I loosen up the screw, I twist the two parts Part. I put the bell side in, I take the slide part, I put that inside, I lock it back up, and then I will close the lid. If the lid does not close smoothly and tight like that, you probably do not have the instrument in correctly, so you want to make any adjustments that you need to. All right. So take your time, be patient with it. I'll answer any questions that you have and um, look below this video and there's gonna be a second video where I show you how to make your first sounds on the mouthpiece, all right? Great job, everyone.